Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today we have a very interesting topic that is atraumatic respiratory treatment or ART. So ART is based on removing decalcified tooth tissues using only hand instruments that is important hand instruments and restoring the cavity with an adhesive filling material commonly we use GIC. So which is a very minimal invasive approach to both prevent dental caries lesion and stop its further progression. So let's see the historical part of ART. So it initiated in the mid 80s in Tanzania in response to an inappropriately functioning community oral health program that was based on Western healthcare modern models and Western technology. So some people have gone from USA to do a community oral health program with all this sophisticated technology of dentistry but what happens in Tanzania was there was no electricity they could not uh, function there all these uh, missionaries so they tried to uh, fill the cavity with using hand instruments and self-adhesive stimens so that's how it uh, started practicing uh, it, there is a new invention of a new uh, methodology which is known as a traumatic restorative treatment so basically it consists of two components one is sealing of this caries prone pits and fissures that is art sealants and restoration of cavitated dentine lesions with restorations so later this uh, art was adopted by world health organization in 1994 as an effective and efficient method of caries control because it has significantly achieved results all over the world both in developing countries and developed countries but mostly in developing countries where the skilled human and other resources are not readily available because the dentistry is always a costly business so it is commonly distributed in the developing countries sorry the developed countries and developing countries are always devoid of this treatment part so they are suffering from uh, the mortality of uh, dental caries so this part of uh, developing um, regions or uh, this art uh, might be a breakthrough and it can uh, cause a significant reduction in the mortality by the dental caries and also for undeserved communities in the industrialized world who are unable to afford for care for dental caries by more conventional means. So affordability is also a big problem for many of the people. So such people also can, uh, a layman also can do this art. You need not to go to a dentist for a restorations. And which is carried out in absence of electricity, pipe water and even anesthesia performed not only by dentists but also by other operating dental personals such as dental therapist anyone can do who have this basic idea of filling and this cement so which has ultimately increased the chance for better oral health in undeserved communities in both developed and developed countries and it reduces the minimize or reduces the oral health inequalities so which is started into the clinical setting by 1990s which is also can be accepted to treat anxious patients because it has minimal discomfort and pain so this is how a caries process as we all know it start from here 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 and ultimately it leads to the pulp then no point we need to go for an rct so what are the indications of art when conventional restorative procedures are impossible on anxious children and adults, patients who are physically, medically or mentally handicapped, cavitated tooth cavity could be reached with hand instruments. These are the indicated indications. So contraindications are there should be a presence of fistula or a swelling or the deep with pulpal exposure, pain on the tooth and there is an obvious caries cavity and the opening is inaccessible to hand instruments there is a clear signs of cavity that is proximal surface but the cavity cannot be entered from the proximal or occlusal directions in these cases we are we are unable to perform a art procedure 
so what are the basic instruments which are common instruments like moth mirror explorers squeezers excavators and dental hatches are the main thing and covers mixing pad and spatula so this excavator and dental hatchet are the main uh, instruments which does uh, carry uh, carries removal so materials we need to use glass and armor cement and conditional cotton wool rolls pellets petroleum jelly and plastic strip and witches so the steps we know we need to arrange the patient uh, operator assistance and we need to control the saliva and we need to maintain proper hygiene and control of cross infection always wearing gloves and mask and other hygiene measures we need to keep our instruments sterile if boiling water or can we can use a pressure cooker so carries removal by using hand instruments spoon excavator or hatchet we need to open the hole in the narrow widen hand entrance of the cavity by placing the blade of the dental hatchet if temporary filling is there we need to remove it completely we have to remove as much carries as possible then we need to condition the cavity that is a fourth step in order to improve the binding of material we need to remove the smear layer of dentin so we always use 10 percent polyacrylic acid or we can also use a gic liquid then we have to mix the material that is our glass and our cement we know how to mix the cement so we need to use the powder and liquid then we need to place the material into the cavity and we can also use instruments or even thumb uh, with a petroleum jelly with a gloved index finger to uh, press and remove the finger sideways after a few seconds this will remove the excess material from the sides and will give a proper uh, occlusion and we need to instruct the patient not to eat or drink for one hour so this is a finger technique once the material is placed we can use petroleum jelly and put it sideways so that will be perfectly placed we can also use instruments for removing the overhanging or the uh, high points so success rate is almost 55 to 75 percentage or 35 to 55 percentage in class 2 and class 3 cavities after one year so what are the advantages of art it is a biological approach that requires minimal cavity preparation and conserves sound to tissues a need for local anesthesia reduced so psychological trauma also reduced it simplifies infection control because we use hand instruments which can easily clean and sterilized and this technique is very simple we can train non-dental personnel or primary healthcare workers which is very much cost effective which can use on children's fearful adults physically and mentally handicapped patients because of this karyostatic properties of GIC the caries control will happen the prevention of caries progression will be there and ease of repair of restorations but the limitations are because we can't perform it on inaccessible cavities and the inferior mechanical and physical properties of the GAC compared to amalgam and composite and which is not suited in deep cavities with pulpal exposure or potential to expose pulp and also hand fatigue for the operator and which is also time consuming okay so that's all about art or a traumatic restorative treatment the most common two principles are usage of hand instruments and restoring the cavity with the adhesive filling materials these two are the vital parts of art and we need to know the advantages disadvantages indications and contraindications so i'll come up with pit and fisher serums and prr in my next videos thank you